Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. In this episode we are looking at this ES880 echo chamber. Now we all know what these do and I've bought this as working. Well I think it's working but we're going to do something a little bit different with this one. So let's get on with the video. First thing we're going to do is have a look inside make sure there's no nasty surprises or any gremlins that are inside everything looks okay there's our little bucket brigade device I see with a couple of op amps that it uses to transmit the audio around in, in a loop So, okay, apart from it being a little bit dirty on the outside, inside seems okay. But first things first, as always, we're going to give it a clean with our trusty foam cleaner. And we're going to give the switch and the potentiometer a little bit of switch cleaner. Just in case it's a little bit noisy. Because I don't know how long this, been, this has been sat around for. I don't know whether it's been used recently or just found in a box or who knows. But a little bit of basic maintenance. And everything should be fine with this. So we just work the switch cleaner in and that should be enough. So there's our echo chamber cleaned up, put back together. Now what are we going to do with this? Well I bought this board a while ago from a person in Brazil who sold them on eBay. Doesn't seem to sell them at the moment. But this is a 150 tone Roger Bleep. It looks like it's using a pick chip of some variety, regulator, a few through holes, and a relay to switch to transmit and receive. Now this is supposed to be 150 tones polyphonic. So let's see how it goes. But first things first, he supplies it with the relay not soldered in the board, which I suppose keeps it thin for packaging. And we'll put that relay on. But first things after that, we need a switch. This switch locks the tones and it also switches the bleep on and off. So luckily the hole at the back of the ES880, a little bit of widening, we managed to fit the switch. We we'll connected some power wires from the back of the board. So here we've intercepted the transmit and receive signals that go to the radio and we've taken a wire from the back of the microphone socket for the PTT and the injection of the audio. So that's it all wired up. Let's see what this thing sounds like. So that's just a standard jumbo bleep. And the echo seems to work nicely. One, two. Now we've still got the jumbo bleep at the end as well. I will switch that. Yeah, sounds okay. Now on this bleep, every time you key up, it changes the, to a different bleep. And with the switch, you can actually lock that bleep to the one you like. Or you can reset it. 
by holding the PTT and switching it on. So you see that's lock the bleep. Turn it off, hold PTT, turn it back on. One, two. It actually turns the bleep off. Engage the switch. So, seems to work. So now the question is, is where we're going to mount this. Now I did a quick test fit and the relay should fit down the side of the microphone socket with the board being upside down. So I wrapped it in a little bit of captain tape and it should fit nicely. As you can see, there's some really unusual bleeps on this. I'm not going to go through the whole 150 on here. I think you get the general idea. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.